about these puppies a little bit. This is Lewis, and Lewis is a blue and tan. He is a fluffy carrier, and he also carries cocoa and cream. Yeah, yeah, you stand there, yeah. It's got this nice square head, black profile. And he is six weeks old. Yeah, yeah. Boy, say hi. Here we have Rachel. And Rachel is a blue fawn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And Rachel is a fluffy carrier also. And she also carries cocoa and cream. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Is this Lewis? Yeah. Here we go. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You calm down. You calm down. You calm down. You calm down. <laughs> this is Donna. And Donna is also a blue and tan, and she is a fluffy carrier, and she carries testable chocolate. Donna is also an ATAT. -AT. Yeah, there's a pretty little thing too. She's just all fired up right now, aren't you? She's just fired up. She's just fired up. Then we have Harvey here, and Harvey is a full fluffy blue sable, and he also carries testable chocolate. And Harvey is an AYA. And I think I forgot to say, but um, Lewis is an ATA. You say hi. You say hi. You say hi. You say hi. Yeah. It's got this beautiful little dark stripe. Yeah. Yeah, you want some attention? I already talked about you. I already talked about you. Yeah. Okay. Here we have Lewis. Lewis is an ATA fluffy carrier. He is six weeks old and he carries cocoa and cream. Here we have Rachel. Rachel is an ATA fluffy carrier. She is a blue fawn who also carries cocoa and cream. Here we have Donna. Donna is an ATAT. She is blue and tan, and she is a fluffy carrier. She also carries testable chocolate. Here we have Harvey. Harvey is a full visual fluffy. He is a blue sable who carries testable chocolate. And he is an AYA. This is Denali, he's one of our studs. He's a full fluffy, blue and tan, carries cocoa and cream. He has had a lot of litters over the last three years. And he is a nice small dog, 23 pounds. You see a lot of fluffies that are way too big. He is not in that category at all. So beautiful little dog. This is Luis. She is a blue fawn. Um, she um, is a fluffy carrier. She was, this is a second breeding to Denali, and it's not the best of pictures because she's pregnant here, but you can see she's a really nice short dog. Um, very sweet little girl. Uh, very successful little last time. That's why we did a repeat of this and we got another nice litter. So I'm very happy with the results here. Well, you've got this far into the video. Let's talk about these four puppies. 
and what colors they can produce. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the way we do things. So first off, we let puppies go to their new homes around 10 weeks old. So, you know, we don't like them to leave before that. We wanna have two set sets of shots. Every puppy gets a complete health check from the vet before it ever goes. You can fly into Oklahoma City, we'll meet you there. We've got nanny services that can ship puppies to you. You can drive here and we can meet you. That part's easy. Um, all right, so we're ready to take deposits on these puppies. So if you're interested, uh, then it's time for a deposit. That then makes that dog yours. You don't have to pay the whole uh, fee for the puppy until the puppy actually is gonna leave. Um, right, girls, two girls, two boys. Every girl in this litter will come with a half price future breeding. What does that mean? It means that if you come back to us and you breed to one of our studs, we will charge you, basically we're gonna finance the, the breeding fee. We ask for $500 down. Then you pay the other half, the only half of the stud fee, you don't pay that until you're ready to register your litter. And any puppy that you, that you produce from that breeding also gets a future half price breeding, which you can then keep that puppy and get the benefit of that yourselves, or you can give that basically half price breeding away with that puppy that you produce, and you'll find that your puppies are, um, will sell for easier and probably for more money because our, our dogs, our pedigrees are great. All right, so I think it'd be good to talk about what these puppies can produce. So, first off, none of these dogs have pied or brindle, so that's not even in the equation. Great. All of these dogs are either fluffy carriers or full fluffies. There's actually one full fluffy in this litter, this is Harvey. The rest of them are fluffy carriers. So let's talk about Donna. Donna's a female. She is a blue. She carries one copy of Testable Chocolate Rojo. She does not, does not carry cocoa. She doesn't carry cream, instead she's got a full mask, and she's tan points ATAT, and you can see those tan points on her nicely, and they will get more pronounced as time goes on. So what can she produce? Well, she can produce blues, testable chocolates, or, um, I'm gonna get this right, Isabella's. So an Isabella is a blue, that, uh, it's a blue dog and a, and a Rojo dog together. So you can produce Rojos, Blues and Isabella's. And Isabella's are very sought after dogs. And you put her with a full fluffy and half the litter would be full fluffies. So we've got a lot of dogs that I'd pair up with this. And I've got one beautiful boy that we've just, he's just been got. He's a Willy Wonka dog. And he is a, uh, a full fluffy um, new shade. So he'd be a fantastic choice for this dog. So that's Donna. All right, next one up. I've got to get my piece of paper so I get the get this correct. Next girl up is Rachel. She is also a blue dog. She is a blue fawn. She carries one copy of Coco. She does not carry the Rojo gene. She is an AYA, that's why she's a fawn. Uh, and she carries, she's, she's carries one copy of cream. So she's got a black mask gene and she carries one copy of, of, of cream. If she had two cobs of cream, she'd be a, she, she would be a cream dog, but she's not. And she's an L4, so she's a fluffy carrier. All right, so again, what can you get from her? You can get blues, you can get cocos, you can get creams, you can get a combination of that that makes lilacs or platinums. Uh, she can make tan points if she's put with a dog that's an AT dog, she'll get tan points. And again, she's a fluffy carrier, put her with a full fluffy and you'll get half the little be full fluffies and the other half will be fluffy carriers. Again, she's a nice little smaller. All of these dogs have got great structure. Parents are small. I don't know what L Louise is. I want to say she's about a 20 pound dog. She might be a bit less than that. Denali, the daddy's about a 23 pound dog. Denali, he's been studying for us for oh, three years now. He's had a lot of puppies behind him. This is Louise's second litter. Her first litter, she was bred with Denali. Why do we breed with Denali again? Because we love the results. She had a litter of five last time, got a litter of four this time. Um, so who would I put her to? I would put her with a platinum, a full fluffy platinum, like our dog, um, um, Boublier. So it, he would produce for you blues, coke, blues, lilacs, and platinums, and you could get tan points, and you can get full fluffies. So that's the dog I'd choose for that would be probably be Sir Humpelot, but he's not the only choice. All right, so now the boys. So the next boy that I showed you was Lewis. 
And Lewis is, um, Lewis is DD, because they're all blues, DD. Doesn't carry that, does carry a copy of Coco. Um, does, same thing, carries one copy of Mask, one copy of Cream. He is an ATA, so he is 10 points, ATA. Uh, and again, he is an L4. So nice little stud dog. Uh, what can he produce? Blues, cocos, creams, lilacs, platinums with 10 points, and fluffies. That's what he can produce. Then the last one is Harvey. And Harvey is, again, a blue dog. He carries a copy of the Rojo gene. He doesn't carry the cocoa. He is a full mask, so he doesn't carry cream. And he is an A-Y, excuse me, he is an A-Y-A-T, A-Y-A-T, A-Y-A-T. And L1, L4, full fluffy. So what can he produce? He can produce blues, he can produce rojos, he can produce Isabellas, he can produce tan-pointed dogs, and he can produce full fluffies. Um, so there you go. If you're interested in any of these guys, then I think the next thing to do would be to call us, talk to me. My number, James, is up there. And then if you're really interested, then the next thing to do would be FaceTime so you can see exact, exactly what's going on. And I recommend any dog that you're buying, if you can, FaceTime. It's, it's not just dogs you're getting from us, but dogs, your puppies you're getting from anywhere. FaceTime, it lets you know the dog really exists. It's not a scam. And you can hide up so much in a photo, but you can't hide anything in a FaceTime. You see the puppy in all of its glory, walking around, see its structure, see how it's traveling, see how it's behaving, see what its personality is. So much information on the FaceTime that, that it can be, um, and I, I don't want to point fingers, but I mean, you know, you can hide up all kinds of stuff with photos. So I mean, photos can even be manipulated and may, dog may not even exist. You can't do that on a FaceTime. The dog has to be there and you, you can show the, the puppy in all of its glory. So there we go. 580-799-2873. And remember, half price breedings on all future uh, females that you produce and the females that you buy from us. So that's a great deal. That, and we finance it. You don't charge hardly any of that fee until you've got puppies on the ground. And we even sweeten that deal. If you pay off the stud fee, the half stud you've got to pay, by 50 days after whelp, after AI, excuse me, after AI, then we give you a free incubator or a free whelping kit. That's $300 worth of stuff that you can get as, as swag. Anyway, give us a holler. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.